Okay, so hello, my name is Juan, and today I'm going to present a C++ library that tries to bring just-in-time compilation for C++ codes, and it's called EasySheet. So the idea is just to provide a small C++ wrapper for non-compiler experts. So it's not an omniscient virtual machine that will magically optimize the code, it's not a readable print loop, and it's not the building blocks for building a more complex just-in-time compilers, that for that we have the LLVM. So let's see an example to grab a, a bit of an idea of what the library is about. So imagine we have a function, uh, an image kernel, that we're going to apply on a video stream. The mask, the mask area, and the mask size parameters are controlled by the user, and they may change at runtime depending on the user input. We do not know a priori which values they are going to take, and they do not change that often because they are controlled by the user, so he won't change the mask size every time, at every frame. On the other hand, the, we have the image dimensions. They typically remain fixed for a video stream. They may surprisingly change, but typically they don't. And it would be great if we could specialize the code of the kernel function for these parameters. For that, we use the EasySheet library. So if you ever recall the stdbind function from the C++ standard library, uh, we try to follow the same semantics. So we include the EasySheet header file, and we call the EasySheet function. It's the only function of the library. This function will generate a specialized version of the kernel function. It's going to grab the values of mask, mask size, and mask area, and it's going to inline them in the code of the kernel function. It's going to take, the newly created function is going to take two parameters. The first one is going to be passed as fourth parameter of the kernel function. The second one as the fifth parameter of the kernel function. And we are also going to inline the image dimensions in the kernel function. We're going to perform constant propagation, the classical optimizations. We're going to generate binary code. We are going to wrap all of that inside a function object that we're going to return to the user. This is a really opaque uh, object. And the, the type of this object, we deduce it from the parameters that we pass to the easy sheet function. So when we call this uh, newly created function here, we also have all the advantage of type checking. It's not that uh, this is going to magically crash and if you in also all the type conversions. Since we are here on a mostly C++ library, we can do everything that we ever imagined with, with C++ objects, like storing them, for example, in an STD vector, or in a map, or whatever. So, for example, using an STD map, we created a small abstraction, a code cache, to avoid recompilations at every frame. And it's shipped in the library, and it's simply an STD map, no surprises on here. Okay, so how does the library work? Actually, the library needs a little bit of help from the compiler. So we have a, a small compiler plugin that's going to parse the calls to easy, the, to easy sheet, and it's going to deduce for which functions we need to expose their bit code at runtime. Then, at startup of the program, we are going to associate the, the bit code for each function with, the, with a function pointer. When we have a call to the EasySheet function, we're going to recover the bit code using the function pointer. We're going to perform the optimization that I mentioned before. We generate code using the LLVM just-in-time compiler, and then we wrap everything in an opaque object for the user to, to interact with. It, for some small benchmarks, I cannot, sorry, I did not have time for the demo. Uh, we provide some performance, like, for example, for Covolution, that it's, uh, a small kernel will line all the parameters, all the constants, the loops get unrolled, some optimizations get uh, optimized also, and we provide around eight, eight texts. For a small kicksor example where the function pointer of the comparison function could not be inlined, the inlining happens and uh, we get around 5x, but it's toy examples. Uh, and there are other stuff that I didn't mention. It's like we have also serialization and deserialization for STD OS streams. So we could serialize the bit code on a standard stream, like a socket, send it over the internet, and somebody else deserialize it on the other side. Really bad idea. Uh, we can also, uh, for ex uh, we have support for inline, more advanced inline of functions. We can compose the generated code. So we can generate code for one function, use it to generate more code on another function, and so on. And we also have some special paths for performing the virtualization of, of virtual method calls. And there's a lot of work in progress. So uh, if you ever want to contribute, please contribute. I'm working on the C API, which is uh, horrible. But if you, for example, are good at writing C++ libraries, the cache support needs support for threading and persistency. And the final objective of the library is to be able to perform some sort of partial evaluation like uh, for an um, interpreter function and an AST, we try to generate code for that particular AST 
Thanks. Thank you very much.